For practice it, exercise 2.22 dollar figure, we need to write a Java program called dollar figure that produces the following output. We need to use nested for loops to capture the structure of this figure. So we'll start by writing our class and now we can start writing our for loop. We notice that we first have these stars, then we have these money symbols, and then we have more stars, money symbols, and then stars again. So to do this, we can first look at how many rows we have of code. We have what looks like seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can set this equal to zero, and this is gonna run as long as rows is less than seven. And we'll increment rows every single time, so eventually we can break out of this for loop. In here, we can print out our stars, so we can say for int stars, and it's equal to zero, and it's growing by two every single row. So what we can do here is we can say stars is less than, we'll do rows times two. And um, we can see, we can test this. We could say for the first row, rows is zero, multiply that by two, so stars are gonna be outputted zero times. For the next time we have one, we have our rows equaling to one. We multiply that two, that gives us two, and our stars will output two times. And same thing for the rest. So um, we can make this plus plus, and then put a bracket around this, and then do a system.out.print statement, where we just print our stars, and then we will have our money symbol next. We'll do int money, it's so initially seven. So we could have seven and it's going to be um, money. It's going to run as long as money is greater than rows because every single time we lose one money spot. And we'll do money plus plus like this. And in here we'll have a system.out.print and we'll just print out money. Or, no, we're not going to print that out. We are going to print out the actual money symbol. And after this, we need to look at the stars in the middle right here. So we can say for int mid star. And this is going to be set equal to how many we have here. So we'll have 14. And we are losing 2 every single time. So we'll have to run this as long as mid stars is greater than rows times two, and we'll do mid stars plus plus. We can test this out to see if this works. Um, we can say, let's say that we're in our third row right here. That means our rows is going to be two, because we had this is our zeroth row, our first row, and this is gonna be our second row. So rows is two, two times four, um, is what we have here. So mid stars has to be um, 10. We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stars are printed. So that means this is correct. We can close this off with a brace and do a 1, 2, 3, 4 system dot out dot print. And in here we will have just a star like this. After this, we are just going to print out our money again. This is going to be the same exact thing. So we can copy this and paste it down here. Next, our stars is going to be the same thing as the first one. So we can copy this and paste it below here. Just like that. All of our loops are closed up. This should be the proper code. If we submit this, we can find out. And we see that we have an infinite loop. And that is because we need to actually decrement this every single time it runs. And that is because each line of code it is decreasing. So that is why we decrement it. And the other ones, the stars, should be incrementing every single time. Um, we have another error where all of our output 
is being printed on the same line. So to do this, we need a spacing line, which I always forget. And we can write spacing. And all we need here is a system.out.print line, just like this. And what this is doing is after it runs all of this, so basically after it outputs one line of code here, it's going to make a new line to print out the next line of code. If we submit this, we can see that we have passed the test. So this is the code that we need to produce the output that we were given.